Hello everybody and welcome back to tutorial series with Thix. I don't have a name. You know, the tutorial. What we're, we're, this is what we're building today. So here's the deal. This is the first of a three-part series on this exact footprint. There, you see the footprint? That's what it looks like right there. It's five. Uh, you can take a picture of, you know, five five by five by three. You know, you know how it is. You, you can look at it. So I, I, I let out this one, that one, and this one. And then we built this house. So we're going to see exactly how to build this house with this pallet coming up right now. All right, then let's jump right into it. Today, we're just doing one of these three houses. The idea again is to do all three houses, three completely different styles. So first, let's start with our palette. All right, I'm gonna keep with the same thing that we did over on these two houses, basically, which is uh, spruce log stripped, both white glass, stone cobble, all, and then all the other spruce sort of variants and white terracotta. So all these things should be available to you kind of in the beginning of the world, if that's your kind of thing. So let's jump in with this guy over here and we're gonna start by building this up. Now, the idea is gonna be here, I'm gonna build all three of these houses completely differently, uh, but, but, like the same exact footprint just to show options that of, of how i think of things whenever i'm building so uh i think it could be a cool thing or i could crash and burn we're gonna find out as we go here but let's go right up about here right up about there okay so that's gonna go three up here and this is gonna go what six six up and then we'll cross if you're if you're following along at home so this one i think again we're gonna do one two three up again and go something like this and then i think what we'll do over here is let's bring this up all six and connect it oops just like that connect this guy in like there and then this one two well actually that is three three up so because the the the, love, the ground goes up just a hair again that's kind of one of the drags of of doing this in a, a non-flat world but it's something that i think the end result is going to be worthwhile so uh hopefully you agree and there we go here's the beginning of what i think is gonna be a nice very simple beginning little house that should be easy on resources and kind of fun to do okay so let's grab some uh roof as we do typically and start throwing in some roofing like this i think that should be good and i think we'll go right into the white terracotta something like this and like that so make a little upside down t and then we'll go stairs go right across here and we are gonna need slabs. I don't have any slabs on me, I need slabs. After we get the roof uh, lined up there, it seems like you can peek out the corners here. So you got a couple options. I think we're just gonna go white terracotta going across there too. And then for interior enthusiasts, those of you who know that you're gonna build an interior, we'll probably, you know, if you were building an interior, you would probably dig down just a hair, but that's not what we're doing in today's video, right? So what we'll do is we will clear out this wool and we're gonna cover, oops, we're gonna cover this with, I think, I think we'll go, yeah, let's just go cobble all the way up down this wall. This end up, it may end up actually being a chimney, I think. I could see it happening anyway. You know, the other the other brick that I'll probably end up sprinkling it is some stone brick as well. So if you uh, if you want to use some stone brick or some cracked stone brick, just because it helps this, helps give some some sort of structure to, to this area. And then over here, we're going to change this up a little bit. I don't want to go all cobble all the way down on the first floor, so we're going to go right in like this we'll just fill in like this depending on if you're playing on a flat world or, or what, however your terrain generation is you can do something like that okay now i know last last episode i missed i missed a wall i missed a wall right here i missed a wall right here so let's just 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 to just to make up for there now it's perfect okay uh okay so here here's the state of the house as we go right now it, you look around here you see there's some mixtures here and i think this is indeed going to be a fireplace so i'm gonna i'm gonna notch it out right now so we remember and what we'll do is build up so we're gonna go out two three one and then this is going to go up like that and we're going to decorate that much more later but right now that kind of gives the idea it kind of gives you know, okay cool there's gonna be a fireplace right there cool no problem now here's another thing i don't want to use all stone brick roofs so sometimes i think it's really nice to grab these guys and do some roofs like this now i think what we're gonna have to do is probably use i think we'll use white terracotta we could also use spruce let's use spruce and let's use strip spruce in this case that would, that would be a really nice looking instead so we're going to one two and one and we're just going to connect this like this um probably need a slab there so like that yeah that's okay and then let's just grab a slab grab a it doesn't matter whether it's cobblestone or or uh 
uh, smooth stone doesn't really matter. And then over here, we'll just do uh, this guy again, same exact thing here. And let's do this in white again, upside down T, just like that. Should be nice and easy. And again, I need a slab. Darn it, darn you even number or odd numbers <laughs> these days i build so much out of even numbers i kind of forget what it's like all right we'll do this and this and this and then we'll just go up kind of like randomly well however however it, it lies for you it doesn't matter this is supposed to be complete completely random uh whether you use uh cobblestone or, or stone or, or even stone brick or whatever you can mix in any of those any of those gray stairs is is a really nice way to go okay there we go. That's that's really good. And then you can see in here we have a little bit of a corner, so we're gonna have to do the exact same thing. Let's grab the white again. Go one, two, three, one, two, three, and again with the log, well wood I think it's called going over that way. Over here we're gonna do the exact same thing again because of the same situation and go you know, just like that. Now here we have an interesting decision because what I would probably often do is kind of come across like this, but I don't want to do that because that's going to connect to this roof and I don't want to connect it. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to mix up a little bit from our normal thing. We're going to go white terracotta all the way around here and probably one, two on the sides. And we're gonna make this a lot bigger. Can you hear the earthquake that's happening? My three year or my two year old is, is uh, wrestling. He, he's, he's as crazy as a WWF wrestler in the other room. I'm sure they're all having a blast. My wife's uh, in, in there. Don't worry, everything's fine. So then we're just going to go right across here. And so instead of connect with logs, we're just going to build right up to the top. I think that's going to be an okay look, honestly. I think it'll be cool. It's not something, again, it's not something I often, often, often do, but, you know, I'm trying to mix this up a little bit. So then we'll just go across here kind of randomly with these just to connect and to keep the same theme as what we did before. It's important. It's important to keep a somewhat consistent theme, I think, in Kingdoms. Now, I have moved away, as I've talked about many, many times, I've moved away from doing the exact same palette per kingdom and all that kind of stuff. However, that all being said, uh, I do think that themes are important and styles of builds are important. So, though I might not copy the exact same palette, although I have in this little kingdom so far, but we're in a neighborhood, not a whole kingdom area. Uh, that won't always, always be the case. Now, what do we do here? Okay, so we're gonna figure these are probably gonna be windows. We'll probably go window here and a window here, right? So let's just throw that in right now. We're just gonna go up. Uh, that kind of connects, but I think that's gonna be okay. It's a little, little bit weird, but let's grab some white glass and just see how it feels. We're gonna grab these uh, panes and go up here. So, okay, here's, I think that's going to be okay. Here's what I don't like. I don't like this guy. So the easy way to fix that is just like this. In fact, actually, you know what? Let's use the non, uh, non spruce, uh, uh, whatever it's called. Let's use the old, old style logs that we can put a little, put a little button, put a little button in there. Now we're not going to do anything right there. So that's all right. And go all the way along here. And then speaking of button, <laughs> speaking of button, let's do a button. And I want to grab this trap door as well. I think we're going to use it. So we'll put the buttons right on there. And in fact, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a button here and here. And I'm not going to put anything over there. I think what we might do is some fences. So we'll just do a button. That's just going to be a little bit of decoration. And then I think, let's see, we could always go fence. So let's grab some spruce fence and see i think that this will be in fact you know what <laughs> i'm just gonna redo what i just did i'm sorry i'm i know i'm not supposed to do that but i think we're just gonna do that i like that way better than the buttons i tried the buttons i don't really like it so i'm sorry if you just put buttons down i'm sorry it's okay it's a learning experience for for all of us this is more about style than copying block for block probably this particular episode right okay that's definitely a better look let's throw the buttons on here that's that's more interesting in our texture pack, the Realm of Vastin, uh, uh, what's it called? Little Taste of Vastin texture pack made by Jersey Boy. Uh, we have these oversized spruce buttons, and man, they are fantastic. All right, let's grab some crackstone brick, and let me show you the beautifulness uh, of, of how nice this looks. So you throw this in a little bit on, like, the chimney area, and it is like... It is like golden magic. It's like golden magic. It's so perfect. Okay, so we do something like that. And then down here, we're just gonna do basically the same thing. I don't know where the doors are gonna be yet. We're gonna have to work that out in just a moment here. Oops. All right, so after we detail all this, and it just I, this is just random. Just throw in some cracked stone brick anywhere because it just goes so perfectly with cobblestone. It's just a really nice mixture. Uh, that's good. We could use some stairs. So let's grab one of these guys and go here and go here. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and here, give that a little bit more depth in the back for a chimney, but 
yeah, I think that's okay. You know, you can do a window here. You can do a window here. You can even do a uh, do a fence. You know, maybe maybe this area isn't uh, uh, doesn't have doesn't have the glass. In fact, actually, you know what? You can do this. Like maybe the the upper floor isn't insulated. It's just it's just for storage. You know, why not? That would be that'd be a nice thing to do. Okay. We'll just do that. That's great. Okay, that down here you got to you got to do this. You got to get this a little bit of love up here, and we'll probably just end up using uh, spruce again. Just you know, to keep keep the theme consistent. Oops, I think I missed that. Let's go there and there and here and here. And then I see I noticed over here I forgot one more. So we'll do this and uh, this something like this. Just just uh, you know, do the outline. All right, just threw a little door in right there. And then over here, this is a little bit weird. It's a little bit weird. So what we're going to do to make this a little less weird is I'm going to throw a trap door on the edge of it because that way uh, uh, it's going to look like, it's going to give this a little bit of, of depth and it's going to look like this could this could swing close. I, I think it's I think it's a, a cool thing. That's not going to work at all. I got to do it like this. Okay, like that. Okay. Oh, nice. Uh, and you can have this open or close. You can put it flat against the wall if, if you're if you're so inclined. But you know, it, 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 either either way, it's, it's a it's a win win win. We're gonna grab a couple of these fences. We're gonna go right up along here. I think that'll be nice. And let's do a glass right there. Let's see around the side. Anything needed over here? No, we're right against the ground here. I do not need and and right against the ground's okay because I think people could potentially dig right into hills, right? I mean, that's no big deal. Oh, I unlocked a new recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. You know what? I think we're done on this house. So, so the last thing to do, and we're gonna do this together. I skipped this in the last episode, and I, I kind of wish I, I kind of wish I had. Uh, in, in fact, because I want to do a couple things. I want to knock out some blocks whenever I put these, put these leaves up here. And I think it's a cool look. Now, from the inside, it's gonna create some problems. It does. It creates some problems on the inside for sure. Uh, let me show you. If you walk into the inside right now, the way I just did that, look up here. That's not good. So what what you'd have to do in the inside is you have to do something like this, right? Uh, that doesn't really work. But you you know what I mean. You'd have to cover this like like somehow, whether however you want to do it, whether you do something like that or or our bushy leaves kind of show through. But you know you, you get you get the idea. You can just even even do a little grid and, and hang a hang a lantern down there and make it all all perfectly beautiful. I don't think we're gonna light up the outside at all. I don't think it's like really necessary. But uh, let's grab this and sometimes doing something like that is really nice. You could do a little tree out here. That we're not doing landscape. Uh, in in these episodes, maybe we'll do a separate sort of landscaping episode uh, that will kind of tie it all together. But um, do a little bit of vines kind of going up up the the tree here, something like this and like this. That's nice. All right, my my two year old Kim Stormin in the room is like like a Macho Man Randy Savage <laughs> demanding switch. I was like, hey buddy. Not right now. Okay, so last thing we're gonna do is his campfire. And uh, where's where's those trap doors? Uh, we'll grab these guys. Okay, so you put the campfire up here. We've all we all know how to do. It. We've all done this a million times. Just this is gonna give you that little smoke effect, and I think it is beautiful. Now the last thing, which I haven't done on these other these other two houses, but I think it's a really nice thing to do. And I kind of wish I had. In fact, I may actually go back and do it. Is some of some of this business right here? Well. Uh, where you just take and you put in and you mix it up a little bit. You take out a few of the a few of the stairs and you just throw in a few of the full blocks. And you know, from the inside, it doesn't it doesn't change anything? But from up here, I think it really has a look of of some some extra interest and things like that. Look, isn't that better? It's better, right? I think it's better. Uh, so you know, do that do that if you want. If that if that sort of look appeals to you, then you can do that. The downside is that's going to unmod proof the roof of your house, so you could have creepers rain, raining down you, but. Uh, the good side is, you know, it, it looks really cool. So that's going to do it for me for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you next. The next two episodes, we're going to do the exact same footprint and see how different we can make these houses with the exact same footprint, exact same palette, right? I'm going to try to use only things that are in this palette. We'll see you next time from the tutorial series of this. Let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials, I would surely love to hear them. And uh, we're not going to always stay in the spruce palette. This is just a little bit of a series. We're going to do probably about 10 episodes here and then move on to a whole different uh, palette, different biome, different situation. Okay. See you all next time. Bye, everybody.